Eminem is like the most lyrically insane. Even when I was going at 50 and, you know, and, you know, me and Dre wasn't seeing eye to eye, man. I stayed away from the white dude. Now, I never thought this would actually happen, but it looks as though the beef between 50 and the game is finally over. To summarize, in 2018, they were spotted having a conversation at an LA club. And on this occasion, unlike the previous time, they appeared to be getting on pretty well. And since then, they have both clarified that they no longer have issues with one another. At this point, 50 is probably on better terms with the game than he is with Banks. However, that's a topic for another video. During this 13-year beef, the game went at every single member of G-Unit. Everyone from spider Loke to Olivia. Lloyd Banks has got 50's hand so far up his- Olivia is a mother man, Throughout the years, the game would frequently express his frustration with his former mentor, Dr. Dre, for choosing 50's side over his. For example, on the title track from his sophomore album, The Doctor's Advocate, arguably his most introspective track to date. However, despite all of this, he never directly addressed his relationship, his situation with Eminem. And whenever he did mention M's name, he only had positive things to say. Except for on one occasion. Prior to the release of the game's third studio album, LAX, an early version of the Lil Wayne assisted track, My Life, was leaked onto the internet. And on this version, the game appeared to be sending shots at Eminem. Check it out. So, let's break it down. You see them 24 spinning? I earned them. And all the pictures of me and M? I burned them. So there ain't no proof that I ever walked through 8 Mile. And since there ain't no proof, I'll never walk through 8 Mile. When this track leaked, the rap forums went crazy. Everyone assumed that the game was sending shots at Eminem. And I must confess, I did too. The game responded swiftly explaining that he had no intention of dissing Eminem. He claimed that the fans had misconstrued what he was trying to say, and out of respect, he ended up changing that verse as follows. The game explained that in actual fact, he was reflecting on the passing of proof. Eminem's closest friend, right hand man and founding member of D12 who unfortunately, who tragically, was murdered in 2006. Traplor Ross has actually made quite an extensive video explaining what happened. By burning the pictures of him and M and vowing never to return to 8 Mile, the game was attempting to overcome the depressive state he fell into following Proof's murder. The pictures, the city of Detroit itself, were just too evocative of Proof's memory. So, that's the story of how the game didn't diss Eminem, but everyone thought he did. Personally, I think his explanation makes perfect sense. However, just to play the doctor's advocate, get the pun, Perhaps he's lying to us. Perhaps he did intend to diss Eminem, but then changed his mind. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with new content very soon. Peace.